This is Andy Pull-Off, Boxing Social, in association with Betfred. I'm joined by Dean White, a suit a, in the immediate aftermath of the Calm Brook weigh-in. Dean, both, I've just not mad, I'll start again. This is Andy Pull-Off, Boxing Social, in association with Betfred. I'm joined by Dean White, in the immediate aftermath of the Calm Brook weigh-in. Dean, we've just seen both fighters make weight, there was question marks whether Kell or not would. What did you make of seeing them both on the scales? That's exactly the same thing. A lot of people said, the question mark, would he or would he not make weight? Obviously, I saw the gloves are off. They was talking about, you know, why did you make me come down to this weight and so on and so forth. Look, he made the weight. Both guys look tremendous. Um, the atmosphere in here is electrifying. I was talking to Ben over there and I'm saying, well, this is probably, was it, what was, what was in the shopping centre? Was that the media worker? The worker? I think that's probably one of the best and most packed workouts I've ever seen, the amount of fans that come out for Khan and, and, and Brooklyn. I mean, there's a rivalry, was it Bolton and Sheffield and so on. And then today, as you can see, it's packed again. Um, and, the, and the fans are vocal, but both guys look in tremendous shape. Um, at the media workout, Khan looked fast, looked sharp, looked like he's on the ball. Kel looked strong, assertive, strong. So it's, 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 it's going to be interesting to see. I feel like Khan is usually someone that starts fast, dominates early, but let's see how he continues to play out later down. And then the second thing is, how does Brook's metal plate hold up in there when he starts to get tagged with shots? Does he have anything in the tank left? They, they, they seem to think there is nothing left in Brook and he's here for a payday. Like Canel said, it's payday, man. You're here for a payday. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's going to be interesting. What are you expecting to see tomorrow night? Who are you backing? Um, do you know what? I kind of, I know Brook a little bit more. I, I'm a big fan of um, Khan's because of what he's done, and I've said it to him before. He was flying the flag for the UK and America, fighting Maidana, Lamont Peterson, and all those guys way before Eddie Hearn was here, and, and, and bringing boxing to the highlight was. So I'm a fan of his because I'm a fan of boxing, what he's done. He was with, was he with PBC, he was with loads of different people, um, Golden Boy, and he's, he's travelled the world and done it the hard way, on the road, many times, many times. So, you know, for him to still be able to have this kind of pool now and, and still be here, like he said, he's done it his way. They said, why didn't you take the fights um, earlier? Because I, I, I had better options. I had bigger paydays to get. And he done it. He cleaned up the pot. You know what I'm saying? It's all about the money. He cleaned the pot and he said, listen, this fight is still going to be here in a few years. And guess what? He was right. It's still a momentous occasion. It's still a massive fight. And as you can see, look, it is crazy here today, you get me? So he was right, and yet again, look, he's going to get a big payday. So credit to these boys at boxing, yet again, this is, the man is pulling out all the stops, like I said in the, the media, the media day and today, they're pulling out the stops, man. They're trying to give Eddie a run for his money and say, listen, we got some sheets, but we're going to show you, sucker, you get me? So uh, it's one of them, but I've got to get in there credit. Listen, credit's where credit's true. I don't, I don't, I don't pretend, one thing I don't do, if you know me, I don't lie, I give every fighter their dues because it's hard getting in there. If someone's doing something correct, you got to get in there, they're just dues. And these guys, they're pulling it off. So, look, credit to them. It's going to be a sick show tomorrow. I should be in the building. If I can get a ticket, somebody, man, help me out, man, please. You got me. Oh, my man's got me. That's what I say. Come on, my man's got me. Yes. Dean, just a couple quick ones. First, your show last weekend, how did it go? Show was amazing. Um, the promoting game, I'm loving the game. You know, um, I love boxing. So for me, it was hard though because I had about five pullouts on the show, but we still managed to get 10 fights on 10 book, 10 wins on the card. And I mean, it was electrifying. We had a packed house and the atmosphere was really, really good. I'm still in um, overwhelmed to be honest, because you know, like for someone who's starting out, I'm thinking to do what we're doing is, 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 is commendable in itself. I'm, I don't want to blow my own trumpet, but it's people who's just, you know, who's come and just say, listen, we've had a great night at your show. Um, and this is what we want to do. We want to get more from our boxing. And this is what I want to do. I want to give back to people. I want them to get more value for their money. We're only small time now, but I plan to go global because that's the name, Black Box Global. So, you know, um, we had some good fights. The next show, we're looking to do May. And um, at the minute, we're looking to have some title fights on it. So I'm moving thick, fast and swift. I'm going to see out the year with another probably three shows of the year if I can. And we're just going to try and drive on and try and be a force in that kind of, in that kind of space where we are and kind of do good things. Dean, final one. Dillian still staying silent. He's only a couple of days left till the 21st. Anything you can say? Uh, there's nothing to do with me. Listen, Black Box Global all day. Dillian White and Tyson Free. Good luck to them, man. Whatever's happening, I'm sure will be revealed shortly, man. I apologise. I can't really comment on any more of that. Do you expect us to have an announcement soon? Before the 21st or maybe as soon as 21st passes? Black Box Global, like I said again, May the 14th, tune in, we're going to be there. Anything to do with that, I can't really talk about at the minute. I think there's stuff going on, but I think we'll hear something soon. I apologise for, you know, 
That's fair enough, Dean. No. Anyone, I can't do anything about that. Sorry. That's, <laughs> fine. That's fair enough, Dean. I appreciate your time. Listen, I'll leave you to crack on now. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>